everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a lovely lovely day so today's video i is a very exciting video we'll be testing out the princess and the frog palette and this is the last episode of the princess collections from i Heart revolution i have really been enjoying doing looks with these uh, they are just the most amazing beautiful stunning collection that i Heart ever revolution that I Heart Revolution has ever brought out. I mean, look at them all together. You have the Cinderella, you have Beauty and the Beast, and you have Princess and the Frog. And it's just a stunning, stunning collection to collect. If you're a big makeup collector, I would definitely suggest you collecting these. I really hope I Heart Revolution are gonna bring these out again this year because they were i feel like once they were on site they were all sold out the next day so i feel like this was their biggest hit ever um especially the friends collection was like their most sold out collection as well and the night the my, nightmare of the nightmare before christmas that's what it's called that was also a set out so i mean yeah i'm so happy with this collection and if you want to see how i got this look today then make sure you grab some popcorn grab a drink and let's get creating i'm super super excited to be testing out princess and the frog eyeshadow palette for you guys today like i said in all of the disney princesses makeup looks i have been loving this collection i just really hope that i Heart revolution will do more disney disney princess collections if it's not disney princess collections then i would love maybe like you know like villains or anything to do with disney i just love the way that they have just brought this collection out. I now have the complete collection, so I'm super happy. I do have the Beauty and the Beast one, the Cinderella, and this one. I have done all of the videos, which I will link down below for you guys, just in case if you want to check them out. Want to check them out? Then please go and check them out. It will help me out a lot, and um, I just hope you liked the series. They did bring these out in November, I think they did. And I just bought the Beauty and the Beast one, and I think my mum saw that I loved it so much she just brought me the whole collection so she brought me the Cinderella one and the Princess and the Frog one this is the last one that I will be doing it's not my last series of the I Heart Revolution I do love I Heart Revolution I love Revolution in general I just I just I just love Revolution. So I do want to try different brands as well, like I said in my Beauty Crop video. I really want to try W7 and I want to try some more Beauty Crop products. If you have any small brands or small businesses that you would like me to test out, then just comment down below and I will definitely do them for you guys. I have got my green top on, you know, to match with the theme, match with the Chris, um, to match with the princess and the frog. I mean, <sighs> It's just so lovely, isn't it? I haven't watched Princess and the Frog film before. I know, I haven't. I haven't seen it. I might watch it tonight. I might give it a little go tonight. But this is what the face palette looks like. So you have the three blushes. And then it looks like you have a bronzy highlighter in here as well. Let me just take the sticky tapes off. So this is what the face palette looks like. And this is what the eyeshadow looks like. It's very, very colourful. It has got a lot of greens to go with the Princess and the Frog theme. And I really do like how I Heart Revolution has stuck with the colour stories. How they have stuck to, you know, Beauty and the Beast. There's loads of reds. Cinderella, there's loads of blues. And in Princess and the Frog, there are loads of greens. So it does match the theme. It's just not random random you know random colors that just don't match with the film but i do like that they have the shade names that go with the film as well but like i said i haven't watched princess and the frog and um, so i wouldn't know any of these characters or any of the sayings in this in this palette but i will watch it tonight and I, i'm kind of excited to watch that tonight actually a new film to watch i've been struggling to find new films and yes princess and the frog will definitely be on there i think what i might be doing today is i might be doing a purpley green look 
hmm, let's try it. I mean, we have to use greens, don't we? Because it's Princess and the Frog, and it's a green palette. So, of course, we have to use the greens. Cinderella, I used blues. Beauty and the Beast, I used reds. So, obviously, Princess and the Frog, I have to use greens. Obviously, we'll be doing some swatches. And, yeah, I just really love this palette. These palettes are £15. They are expensive for iHeart Revolution. But... Like I said, I think it's because it's collaboration with Disney, so I think that's why it's just a little bit more expensive. Um, but the packaging is great, the collection is great. If you're a big Disney fan, definitely would suggest you buying this. Or if you are a big collector of I Have Revolution, then I think this will be something cool to collect. I wish I did collect the Tasty palette. I did see more of Freya. Freya or Freya? Freya, isn't it? more to freya i think it's freya or freya freya so i have been loving this uh youtuber called more to freya her name is beth um and she has been using the tasty palettes from i have revolution and it's just making me want to collect the tasty palettes so if you would like me to do some reviews on the tasty palettes then i would definitely do that because I think I really want to collect something this year. I want to collect... I know I have a loads of eyeshadow palettes, but I mean, I want to start collecting something. So I think I might start collecting the Tasty palettes. But yeah, let's get into this. So I will be doing some swatches. So this is the first and the second row. In each row, they do have three shades. They do swatch really well. But, I mean, this shade right here, which is called Tiana, it is a bit faint, today like, in all of my videos, that these shades are meant for your eyes, not for your hands. So I think they will perform way better on your eyelids than on your hands. But they're really buttery, really smooth. Very, very happy with these. And this is the third and fourth row and these shades are so pretty i really do like this shade which is called shadow man which is a really nice purple and then this shade which is called frog i love these two shades these shades are giving me the joke vibes i don't know why i think because the joker is purple and green yeah i really do love these shades and i think i might include them in today's look and this is the third and sixth row. These shades are absolutely my favourite shades. They're really nice and bright and colourful. I feel like this palette is a really nice colourful palette. And you can never have too many colourful palettes in my opinion. I mean, you always have to have a colourful palette, don't you? So yeah, I'm very happy with all of these shades. Can't wait to put these on my eyes. Very, very excited. We also have the Princess and the Frog lip gloss topper as well, which I thought we could give this little a little go. Mmm, doesn't really smell like anything, but it's got a nice sweet, sweet smell. First shade what we'll be doing. I don't know if I should do purple and then at the top green. I don't know what I'm think I think I know what I'm doing, but at the same time I don't know what I'm doing. So um Hmm, I think what we're going to start off with, there's a lot of shimmers in here, there's not a lot of matte, there are 7 mattes and 11 shimmers, so there's a lot of shimmers, which I don't mind, but that just means that there's less for me to do. I think what I might go with is I think I'm going to go with Swamp, which is this blue shade, and I think I might pop that into the crease of my eye, and I think I might use a green shimmer. Um... I don't know, I, I was going to apply purple, but now I'm having second thoughts on that. I just don't know how to work on that yet. So yeah, Swamp is the shade, and it is like a uh, a baby blue shade. I'm just going to apply that into the crease of my eye. So these apply very nicely. I'm just dabbing the shade on, just packing it on in the crease of my eye. I think I might take this up a little bit more as well. It is, it's not, I thought it was a baby blue, but it's got a bit of green in there as well. It's like, um, I don't want to say mint green. It's just like a bluey greeny colour. And I think I might take lily pad. So lily pad, that is this green 
right here. It's a really nice light green. And I'm just going to place this on edges just to buff them out just so there's no harsh lines. This is like a really nice pastel green. There is a lot of fallout in this one. I think the lighter the colour, the more fallout there is. Okay, that's really nice. I really like how that blended in. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay, so those two shades are working perfect. Absolutely stunning. I'm thinking of putting the purple on the waterline. I think I might do that. I really want to add a purple, but I don't want to add it to this because I'm loving it and I don't want to ruin it. So I'm thinking of applying it like on the bottom lash. But what I think I might be doing now is I'm going to cut crease the eye. What I'm using now is my P. Louise Mama Mitchell Acid Range. And this is perfect for cut creases. Um, this dries in 60 seconds. And uh, it's just something that you need if you want to do cut creases. I mean, you don't need it. But it's just the best thing in... It's just the best thing in the world. Literally, you don't need a lot. You just need the tiniest bit. And what I do to cut a crease is I go like that and I look up and then as you can see there's a line there so it just guides me there's a guideline to where the cut crease should be shimmer the frog shade is this one here it's like a dark green oh no actually I think I might use Lois which is this shade this is more of a dark green I want to do more of a darky green so this shade I'm using, Lewis, Lewis or Lois, uh, to pop that on top of my base. Yeah, I'm happy I used that shade. This more, so nice. I think I might do something with the corner of the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this small little brush. Uh, I think I might use, mm, I've been looking at this shade. And it's just really calling cool my name. It's Gumbo. And it is this shade here. It's like a nice salmon shade. And I'm going to place that onto the edges of my eye. Just so this, this lowest shade will just pop a little bit more. So that is the eyes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly finish off my base makeup and then we will try the face palette. So I will see you very, very soon. Just done my full face and now we'll be testing out the face palette side. So like I said, we have the blushes. Um, I guess I could use these as bronzer toppers and we have a highlight here. So yeah, let's have a little go at these. I feel like I won't need to have need lots of this blush um, because it's 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 quite um quite a bright brush, brush brush blush. I keep saying that, blush brush blush brush blush brush. Try and say them to blush brush in together. It's just it's just so hard. I think I might be using Promise today, which is this. It's like a purpley blush. I might use this one. I don't know. I think I might use. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do one tap. That's it. I need, I think I need two taps. That's it. Okay, and then wall. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do a little bit. Okay, so that is the blush. Um, as you can see, it, it does look. <laughs> In camera, it looks a bit weird, but I mean, in real life, it's really nice. Here, I don't know what's going on. There's a bit of a patch there. I don't know if that's because of my, how I've applied my foundation. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Let's cover that with my hair. <laughs> but other than that, I really do like it. Now, let's move on to highlighter. So, we're going to use this shade, and this shade is a chin -za. A chin Chindza, I think that is. I know it's referenced in the movie, which I still need to watch, and I'm definitely going to watch today. So I'm going to apply that. Hmm. Said I am going to be doing my bottom 
lash line um purple so i am going to be using shadow man which is this shade right here Okay, I really do like that. I kind of like a purple eyeliner for the waterline. That's really nice. That's definitely pulled the look together and I'm very happy with that. I'm just going to apply some mascara to the bottom lashes now. Now we're going to try the Princess and the Frog lip gloss. And this is a lip topper, but I mean, it's fine. We can use it. Um, and it doesn't have a shade, but I, I think there's just one shade for every collection anyway. Hmm. Okay, that is so pretty. It's giving me like a really nice glossy lip. I am loving this. This is so nice. Wow. This collection is, is beautiful. I feel like the princess and the frog one is definitely the most colourful one. Let me go get the other two for you. This is the complete collection. And I am so happy that I have got the collection of this. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what else I Heart Revolution brings out. And I really hope they bring out some more of these. I think this will be so nice on your bookshelf. Can you just, can you just imagine? It's just beautiful beautiful like oh, that is everything i love how they have like three names on the on the backs as well because it's just so pretty oh it's just it's just the detail and everything so this was the cinderella one i did do a look i will leave them all down below for you and this is what this one looks like as you can see there is a lot of blues and it's just a stunning stunning palette and then we have got the beauty and the beast one and oh, if it will open oh, this is what this one looks like so as you can see there's a lot of golds and there's a lot of reds as well i thought there would be more reds in here actually i mean it's 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 a goldy because obviously cinderella is wearing her beautiful golden dress um, there is a lot of gold in here as well, so gold, yellows and reds. And this is what the face palette looks like. And then for the princess and the frog, this is what she looks like. And then she is definitely the more colourful palette. Um, but it's so pretty, it's got loads of greens in there. And then you have got this face palette. So it's just so pretty isn't it it's just so adorable it's really nice as a collection item like i keep saying 15 pounds for a palette but it's quite expensive for the i Heart revolution but i mean it is collaboration for disney so i'm sure we disney takes a little bit of percentage so that's much sure why it's it's that expensive i'm just so happy and i can't rate them all individually because they're just all at 10 out of 10 I just love them. I just love this collection. This is my favourite collection that I have, Revolution has ever brought out. So yeah, for the Princess and the Frog, I am super happy with it. Like I said, it is the most colourful palette out of the collection. You can never go wrong with a colourful, a colourful, colourful palette. It's just stunning. I will definitely be reaching for this again. I'll definitely be reaching for all of these palettes again. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my Princess series and if i Heart revolution brings more of these out then i will definitely be doing them so make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment down below if you want me to try any more collections out from my Heart revolution definitely the tasty collection because i really want to collect that like comment subscribe and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all very very soon bye for now